TTV Racing, sponsors of the Formula G Show. A launch off the line, the pressure you can see building from these two as they go through. Let's see it, send them, and we're green! Wow, that is close! Welcome Jim Carner fans, it's round four, the penultimate heat of the UK's head-to-head -head racing series, Formula G, and the championship is hotting up, as is the weather, and to add to the pressure, drivers are facing one of the tightest, fastest layouts yet, which in theory should be an MX-5 driver's dream. So what is it that gives the MX-5s the advantage over the big guys here? I think it's just a bit more nimble really, just quite a short wheelbase and much more agile around, around the obstacles, which makes them a bit nippier. Uh, the sort of bigger cars sort of wallow around a little bit more, um, but then they have the power to make up for it. But on a short track like this, they, I doubt they're going to be able to use most of the power. They're nice and tight and twisty, so you really have to work the car, and it's not so much a power track. You have to use the grip in the car and throw the car about a bit, which works for my driving style. It's, um, it's very twisty and it's very short, uh, we're limited on track space, but it seems to flow really well, so it's quite quick. I um, find it quite good, to be honest. The track's nice and tight and twisty. Uh, the car's performing brilliantly on this track, so looking for good results today. Do you even get out of first gear on this track? S uh, second gear pull off, staying second gear all the way. Oh, do you? Yep. Today I'm first gear all the way. First all the way, yeah, first all the way, there's no second gear. The straight, you're pinning it in first, there's no point going to second, uh, but yeah, it's all in first. Go hard or go home. Well, we're all planning to go hard and then go home because this is USC set at the eponymous Santa Pod Raceway. And we find ourselves with a tricky landscape layout as we pass over the stop box and wait at the start line. And when the light hits green, it's a short shoot into a right hander across the diagonal straight into barrel number two through the flags and then left round the cone into a hairpin turn back across to cone number two once round and back to the first barrel finally at this point you can see whether your opponent is ahead or behind blast it into the stop box careful not to overshoot or it's a dnf hit any obstacle and you'll get a two second penalty once finished swap sides and do it all again and the fastest combined time takes the win. So without further ado, let's get into the front wheel drive top battles brought to you by TTV Racing and Andy Lewin waits ready to take on the winner out of Ashley Roberts and Richard Tickner. And to talk us through the action, Nigel Pope. White lights, yellows and we're green. Straight up, faster launch I think there from Tickner. Going into the first barrel now. Pretty neck and neck. What I can see here, this cone is where it split us last time. Ashley's got the head on him. Are you round those rust slip tyres? Straight back into a flick round the chains. Ashley's definitely got the lead here. The upper hand going into the 540 at the end. Tickner seems to be making space, but it's um, it's not quite fast enough, I don't think. As Ashley stops in the box, plenty of time to spare. Clean runs from both though. So to make it through to the final, Richard would need to beat Ashley by over three and a half seconds. The green! Ticking the faster off the launch, but didn't seem to get the grip down. Ashley's pulling away from him now, into the first barrel. Although Tickner seems to have got it back, just a lot of spinning at the front there. No, Ashley there has definitely got it back. Coming round into the rust slip tyres for that first U turn. Straight round the chain now. Back up the top round that cone. Bosh. Good runs from both. 540 here. And a stop in the box. Thank you. 
And with a win on both sides, Ashley is through to the final, while Richard takes P3. Back to Nigel. We're green. A launch to that first barrel. And he really picking up the pace after that barrel. Throws it tidy around the first chicane there to thread the needle through the rustic tyres. Tight around the cone and back for the rustic tyre second time now. So much speed coming out of that micro. Ashley in the Civic really picking up pace now, but just not enough this late on in the track. 540's won or lost here. Clean stop in the box, Andy. Not far behind from Ashley there, just a bit more grip needed, I think, between some of those obstacles. Front wheel drive. Clean launches from both. Neck and neck into that first barrel, but this launch here breaks it. And he's first to that barrel. And she's not far behind, bit more tail skippy. Straight up round the cone, tidy from both. Russ slip interchange now. Very nice U-turn there. And he's got the pace on him. But actually all the time keeping it tight. 540 here. Gonna need to really pick it up, Ash, if you wanna pull it back. It's a start from Andy. And a clean start from Ashley. Well, Andy Lewin's dominance continues with a massive win in round four. And we've no time to catch our breath as we move to all-wheel drive. Brought to you by Scooby Clinic Racing. And it's an all-Scooby final battle with Dimitri and Bucky. Slugging it out for the Formula G all-wheel drive throw. This is your all-wheel drive final. Jonathan Buck, Dimitri Shribney. The lights go green. I think Bucky had the launch on him there. Let's see how he handles the extra half a second I reckon he had there. Dimitri certainly pulled it back, threading the needle. Looks like they're neck and neck round, the, round that first cone up there. Yes. Now into the pivots round to the chain section. It's neck and neck into the 540. Let's see how they handle it. Both tight round there. Dimitri got the tighter line, but I think Bucky got the grip coming out. Both stop in the box. Too close for me to call that one. Dimitri is staged. And we are green! Dimitri got the launch there, but Bucky got to the barrel first. Really throwing down the grip though on that second section. Dimitri did thread the needle. I think Bucky's got the edge on him just so going into the cone. Could all change here in this U section. Neck and neck just as now. And I think Dimitri might have got him just into the chain section. 540. Neck and neck into the first rotation. Out for the second buck. He's got it slightly. Can we get it? Oh, it's so close. Oh, wouldn't like to call that one. Dimitri, first place today. How's the car handled it today? Uh, difficult because it had a new engine. So, and I think, you know, with a better and stronger engine which Scooby Clinic have built, it took the deserved first place. It's a completely different beast now, as I've seen it grow over the season. You must be so happy with how it turned out. Oh yes, that's uh, indeed very, very true. I mean, like today, I'm uh, not even flat out because it's so aggressive and. Uh, slight fraction of the throttle pedal going down and it's not behaving itself they want the way I want it. It's just too crazy, you know. I thought I had him. I don't know what happened there. I thought that my run, I could see that I was quicker on the first run. Um, I could see him coming to the box after me. Um, and I thought, just make sure it's tight on the second one. I thought we ended the box at the same time, meaning my first run were probably quicker, but 0.2 of a second. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely, genuinely gutted that I am on that. Hard luck, Bucky. It's You One Time Now, brought to you by TTV Racing. And with Andrew Beddle smashing qualifying, it's up to Nick or Mark. So Nick in the grey now, Mark in the yellow. 
This is us, semi-finals or U1 class. We're racing! Both clean launches off the line and pretty neck and neck to that first barrel. Second barrel taken clean from both also. Take it up to the cone. Looks like Mark's got the edge on it at the moment. A little bit tail happy on that first cone. I think Nick's taking the advantage of that. Coming into the chain. Both, both neck and neck again. Into the barrel, 540. Quite wide line for both cars. Nick in the box first. Both clean stops from Nick and Mark. On the left lane, yellow Mark. Right lane, grey of Nick, and they're racing. First barrel clean launches into the second barrel now. Pretty neck and neck. Mark seems to take a lot more heat than Nick, though. Thread the needle through the rust of tyres. And a clean spin back round again. This is, this is tight racing from both. Super clean, a little bit more spin up on the uh, mark there, a bit more grip from Nick. 5.40 now, neck and neck as they launch it to the box. I think Nick may have just got him to the box there, but that was exciting stuff. That's right, Nigel. Nick just takes the win by less than a second on each side. So once again, we have a Biddle v Biddle battle for the top spot. Stay tuned to find out which of the brothers reigns supreme. TTV Racing, sponsors of the Formula G Show. TTV Racing, sponsors of the Formula G Show. Welcome back to the Formula G Show. We're at the Ultimate Streetcar Festival at Santa Pod Raceway, where the final U1 battle is underway, with the car sharing Biddle Brothers once again vying for the top spot on the podium. And both Nick and Andy drove flawless and furious races, albeit with their own signature styles. And though it was pretty close, Andrew takes it with a win on both sides of the track. First place, Andy, how do you feel? Oh, I'm absolutely ecstatic, man. It's been a it's been a long, hot day. The times have been consistent throughout the day, and I'm just uh, over the moon. Over the moon. Congrats, Andy. Now it's time for the rear wheel drive final four. And first up, it's Adam Elder with his Zestino teammate, Ryan Milton. And to talk us through the action, it's Formula G's own Prince Charming, Nigel Pope. Adam, Ryan, it's green. Ryan first to the barrel. Adam takes it on the launch though. In that second barrel now, both tight lines to feed the thread the needle through. Round that back tyre there in the U-shaped background, the rust lip tyres. Pretty close here, I think. Yes, it is into the cone. Not much in it, but it seems Adam's just got the edge on Ryan. Now into that second spin. Adam is so tight on that barrel, inches away. And first in the box, Adam, followed in by Ryan. But really, nothing in it between them. Second run now, Ryan on the left, Adam on the right. We're staged and green. Both clean off the line, round the first barrel. Ryan seems to got Adam here. Yes, he's first into that second barrel. See how he handles, thread the needle through to the cone now. Both pretty much neck and neck, going through to the U section around the rusted tires. Into our spin round the chain. Looks like Adam's got it back now, really pulled it up into the 540. Adam's so tight around that barrel again. A little wider line there from Ryan. First in the box, Adam. Shortly behind by Ryan. Great racing, clean runs. So Adam's Zestino machine is fastest on both sides of the track. And he makes his way through to the final battle. While Ryan's best hope is P3. 
back to Nigel. So left lane, Luke. Right lane, Craig. We're launching in yellow, 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 green. Luke first to the barrel. Craig, he's hot on his tails. Looks pretty close now into the second barrel as we come and thread the needle through to the cone. So tight line from both drivers here and very, very close coming to this section. I think Craig took the wire line there, but it might help him pull away. Luke into the 541st. But Craig, you're not far behind. See what happens in the second run to pull that time back. And clean stops in the box. Second side now, Craig here on the left, Luke on the right. No strangers here to the quarterfinals. It's green! First barrel, Luke fast to that first barrel all day today. Second barrel tight from both. See how they go after the thread, the needle around the cone. And a U section around those rustic tires, tidy from both. Luke's been squeaky clean around that section of the track where the chain is all day. 5.40 nice and tight from both drivers. Luke's got the launch on him. Craigie not far behind. Both clean stops in the box. So we get ourselves a classic Adam v Luke final while Ryan and Craigie will give everything to join these two legends on the podium. Created on the same chassis, two very different beasts. One turbo, one supercharge. We're green! Tidy first barrel, good launch, long through to the second barrel. Pretty tight. Lines from both as they thread the needle and up through that first cone. I think Ryan slightly got the edge on Craig here first, of course, into the cone as they spin around the chain section into the 540 super tight line there from Ryan that's where the time has really been gained and Craigie second in the box great racing both okay this is the battle for third place Craigie left, Ryan launching on the right, first barrel he gets to it, and clean both drivers round into the second barrel now, thread the needle through the rustic tyres and up to the cone section, I think Ryan slightly got the edge there, I think uh, Craig slightly lost his momentum on that turn, round now to the chain section, seems to have got it back now Craigie, picked up for a bit of lost time, 540 section, really pulling in tight to really grab that time back. Great launch there, close into the box. Great racing drivers. So after two hard fought battles, Ryan takes P3. And now it's time for the main event, the rear wheel drive final, Adam Elder versus Luke Woodham. And to tell it like it is, it's Mr. Nigel Pope. Okay, your two best Jim Carla drivers in the whole world line up. Formula G and they're green. Both straight to the barrel there, no stops there into the second barrel, so tight, both drivers, you can really feel the air getting tense here. Right around the cones there, super tight, fast launch, it's pretty close here, yes it is, 540, let's see if there'll be a break between these two, super tight line from both and a launch for the box, neck and neck, can't call that. Wow. Two drivers, no strangers to this stage, and we're green. Luke takes it first to the barrel there, Adam's got the launch. Looks like it's neck and neck, but Adam taking a much wider line on that second barrel. Looks like Lucas definitely. Oh, he's coming in hot to the tires. Oh, he's clipped it. That's a two second penalty. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that. The 360 around the cone into the 540, meets the barrel first. Adam's not far behind to see if he can pull it back now. And a top in the box. Tidy tight. And a stop in the box from Adam. So a rare mistake there from the master. 
but despite the penalty, he still manages to edge the win. Luke Wooden, well done. Thank you. How have you found the course today? Uh, I turned up this morning and I was actually really disappointed. And now I absolutely love it. It's yeah. like, throughout practice, it's like, I thought it was too tight, but the guys at Fuel Toby have done a fantastic job of making the tight space work really well. And the race has been probably the closest we've ever had, I think. The top four were like hundredths of a second. So for me, it's fantastic. And each time Fuel Toby's are stepping up the event, Formula G's going higher and higher. So driving, Adam's driving fantastic. He's always nipping at the hills. Um, he's a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> love him to bits. So he's pushing the sport really well. So yeah, you can only get behind him and congratulate him. So yeah, all good. You know, the S bodies are pulled through today. Um, you know, I've had a great run, a bit disappointed with that last run. It jumped out of gear down at the bottom bottom corner. Uh, yet again, another dropping out of gear. So it's definitely time to get the gearbox out. But, you know, Luke drove really well and he always does. You know, he's got a new car there. He, you know, he's, he's going to be getting quicker and quicker every time he comes out, you know, and it's, it's you know, it's always, it's always, a, always a buzz to have a race against Luke because we know it's going to be close. So you're mentioning that you maybe you may have some gearbox issues. You've got plans and will we see later on in the season something a little bit of a change up ready? Uh, get an automatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get an automatic. Well, while we're celebrating wins, we've just got enough time to check out Team Scooby Clinic Racing's epic 2018 season. Teammates off the track, rivals on the track, Bucky's got the launch on him. The car has been perfect all weekend. Massive, massive, massive shout out to Scuba Clinic. Jonathan Buck first into the barrel there. Freestyle 360. Dimitri really romping it now, taking full advantage. Kick the back out. And a stop in the box. Double spin round this barrel. Dimitri! Dimitri feeds on the pressure. It's, it's not just my victory, it's victory I think for everyone in my team. And that's it from Santa Pod. We'll see you next time for the final showdown of Formula G 2018 at Rockingham Raceway. Sponsors of the Formula G Show.